Hey, McAuliffe. It's Officer Dave. Just wanted to uh, talk to you guys today a little bit about what uh, what a hero uh, is to me and and what that means. And you know, it gets you to get you to thinking about you know what who heroes in our lives are. And you know, there's there's the fictional heroes. You've got Iron Man, Captain America, Batman, those folks. But you know, look at the real people. You know, the people that that um, have been heroes and that have inspired us uh, through life. Um, you know, people I think of right off hand are people like William Wallace, Mother Teresa, uh, people people like that that uh, that were just ordinary people, but they made a big impact on people's lives. And it it got me to thinking a little bit more. Who who is um, who are heroes here? You know, who are heroes that that we look up to and. Um, you know, the McAuliffe stuff is um, is a a group of of superheroes. Um, you guys come to work every day. You try to make a difference in people's lives every day, and you you take our kids and you love on them during the day, and you you make them feel like they that they are important and that they're loved, and we just. You guys are heroes, and you guys are are the ones that are on the front lines, and you're you're trying to make a difference in each of our kids' lives. And you know, my my definition of a hero is um, ordinary people doing extraordinary things, and and y'all y'all are definitely doing that. Um, last year, uh, y'all y'all became heroes more more to me than than ever before. Uh, my son, William, started the first grade last year, and it was his first year at McAuliffe, and we he didn't know what to expect. I knew a little bit, but there was a little boy in his class from the first day he started coming up to me and telling me and my wife that, Dad, there's this little boy who won't quit touching me, and, and he won't leave me alone. And so for the first couple of weeks, I said, you know, William, you know, just give it a chance. Let him just tell Miss Courtney, let her know what's going on. And, and so through, through that time, he would keep coming home. Dad, he's still touching me. Still, you know, he's still in my face. He, he's not, he's just, uh, making me feel uncomfortable. So around Thanksgiving, I, I spoke to Miss Mattingly and let her know what was going on. And she said that she would talk to the little boy and, and talk to William and see if we couldn't work it out. And, through through the school year and and as as the year progressed and things, it it got better and and the little boy um, started to learn um, about personal space and about you know not not um, getting in William's face or or um, touching him when you know just the touching was on the face or the the arm which William didn't like, but the counselors and, and all your teachers and, and the, and Miss Mattingly, we all, we all sat down and we came up with a plan. And by the end of the year, William and this little boy, his name was Ali. He, they were good friends. And, and Ali's mom found my wife in the lunchroom one day and said, is William your son? And, and my wife looked at her and said, yes. She said, well, William has been a good friend to Ali all year. He, he, Ollie's mom told my wife said um, Ollie comes home and talks about how William is Ollie's protector on the playground at recess every day so those kind of things those those life lessons that that invaluable learning time that my that my son had um, last year is is something that is invaluable to me and I just want to thank you McAuliffe staff for for being my hero and for for doing such a great job and for going above and beyond who what you have to do and and going above and beyond um, what you're called to do so thank you and and just remember that that we're looking up to you the kids are looking up to you and that um, we appreciate the job you do